Here it is! After seeing it fly over this week, here is the Space Shuttle Discovery, and I, of course, popped down and braved the, the crowds to, to see it. And it's pretty awesome. And I kind of, like, was dumbstruck when I saw it. The first thing you notice about it is it's huge. It, it, it's way bigger than, I mean, there were guys servicing it from the, the company that used to operate the shuttle, crawling all over it, and they're like ants on this giant, giant thing. Um, and the other cool thing about it is it's, it's all beaten up, and you can see like the scorch marks where it's flown through the atmosphere. So I'm, I'm sort of a nerdvana here. I'm going, geek heaven. So yes, a quick tour for, since you cannot be here. This here, this sort of removable section, it's the uh, maneuvering system. Apparently the, uh, the cockpit has had some instruments and stuff stripped out, but it's basically the same. Smithsonian were very particular that they wanted all of the lockers, and in particular they wanted the toilet preserved in state. Exciting as that is, of course. Alright, so um, this is the side of the ship. And you can check check out the side, you can actually see the hatch was open. And uh, as I was saying, the guys from the United Space Alliance who actually launched the shuttle, they're crawling in and out of the hatch doing servicing. And literally there was a guy up in the cockpit and like sitting in the commander's chair. And at one point he totally got on the phone, he was like, oh my god, I'm in the shuttle! Yeah, totally! And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's very exciting to see you know, people sort of working on it. So if we look underneath, all the tiles when you get close to it, each one is different. It's like a gigantic jigsaw puzzle. Every single tile being a slightly different color because some of them have been aged, some of them have flown through the atmosphere and re-entered, some of them haven't. You see there, there's the wing. That's the, the leading edge of the wing. That's the, the part that was on the other side, on the Columbia that got hit. And uh, it's the hole in that wing that led uh, the superheated plasma into the the wheel bay, you can see the, the wheels drop down, that's where the, you know, the uh, plasma went in there and that was what began the breakup of the shuttle. Incidentally, whilst we're walking past this, everybody's just walking past this, but this is a suit worn on the moon, on Apollo 15. See that? That is moon dust. I love this museum so much. Hi, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm giving a tour to my family who can't be here because they're still in Britain. Um, okay, so that there on the side is the uh, orbital maneuvering system. It ran on a incredibly carcinogenic fuel, like hydrazine, um, and you really can't have that sitting around in a museum. So what they've done is they've taken the fuel tanks and stripped them out because, um, you know, you can't have them sitting around. Anyway, the, under there is where you'd see the rocket motors, but they don't actually have the real engines. I, actually, I asked one of the docents here, how do you feel about that? Like, cause don't you think they should be putting the, the engines in the museum with the Discovery? And he was like, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. They gave us the Discovery, I'm not gonna complain.